So now we can simply display the progress bar or you can say the loading dialog. So for that we can simply say show dialog and then we can say I mean first of all the first one is the context the first parameter then the next one is we can say builder C return loading dialog pass the message to it so we can say a message and we will tell the seller that is registering account or register registering account okay or you can say registration starts so anyways register uh, registering account okay this message is passing to the loading dialog okay which is here and then it will say please wait alongside with the registering account so I hope you understand this and now the file I mean the image that we are uploading to the storage let's give it a unique proper name so after the show dialog we can simply say string file name equals to we will use the date okay the date time the current date as you know once the date pass it can never be recalled I mean it is a unique name for naming anything okay so anyways we can say that time dot now dot milliseconds since epoch dot to string so this is our file name now after this we have to create a reference to our storage okay here that is where we want to save it so we can say that come here to the top first of all we we have to import the package which is firebase storage this one okay firebase storage import this as f storage okay just like this so now we can say f storage dot reference reference equals to f storage dot firebase storage dot instance dot reference dot child and for storing the sellers images to the storage let's create a separate folder for that which will be by the name uh, sellers okay so we must differentiate between each and every image that is the rider images the seller images the user images so first of all I will simply say dot child sellers okay and then you can put the file I mean the reference to the file name which will be dot child file name so yeah this is our reference so I hope you can see it so once you create the reference okay which is inside the sellers folder and then inside that sellers folder by this file name we are going to put our file so in order to do that for this we will simply say now that is f storage upload task upload task equals to reference dot put file okay and here we have to pass the file so at this reference which I already show you guys we are going to put our file okay inside the seller folder by the name file name so anyways now the file this image file is stored inside the variable which is by the name image x file I hope you remember that okay so now we can simply say that file 
and the path of that file so which is image x file dot path okay and make sure to put a semicolon make sure to add the non null okay non empty sign here with the non null exclamation mark sign as after this once we put the file at our reference now is the time to take the url of that file okay that is the link for accessing our images or any file from the firebase storage so in order to get that url which is also called the download url we can first say that f storage let me minimize this so that we can see the code easily dot task snapshot and then we can say task snapshot wet upload task dot when complete remove this null and singly put curly braces and then make sure to put a semicolon at the end and after it using this task snapshot we can simply get the download URL okay for accessing that image so we can say dot ref dot get download URL dot then change the value of I mean this value to URL which is the URL where we put basically our image okay so using this URL we can access our image that specific image for each and every seller of course they will have their own images so anyways now we can simply let's create quickly a string type variable above to which we will assign our URL so we can simply say that string seller image URL initialize it with a null and now we can simply say seller image URL assign the URL to it and yeah that's it for uploading the image and getting that URL because this URL now we will save it alongside with the form other information that is name email password etc to the uh, file store okay to the file store database so before doing that let's just check our app one time okay also let me add here a comment from here we will continue which is to save information to fire store database so anyways now let's just test the app but before doing that okay first of all come here to the storage okay and inside the storage we have to check the rules and make sure to change the rules that is allow read write if true just like we change for the fire store i hope you remember that so anyways we can simply say if true so yeah it is changed now and now we are good to go so now let's just test the app to see if everything is working or not so let's just go to the register and pick any image okay and then fill up the form quickly okay we are just saving the i mean down uploading the image okay and getting the download url we are not yet uh, saving the information to the file store so anyways let's just quickly test these things Okay, click sign up anyway if you click here on the run then you will see the progress also so it is showing that is registering account please where this is our progress bar okay the loading widget or you can say the loading dialog so anyways now uh, you can come here to the storage firebase storage and refresh this page to see if it is uploaded or not here we go this is our sellers folder and if you go inside this folder 
this is our file name and our file basically if you click here you will see it okay so this is our image which we just uploaded and basically the download URL which we uh, which the Firebase storage give as a result using the toss snapshot it is basically this one okay I hope you can see it click to copy download URL if you click on it okay and then you paste that URL here then you will see that this is our image so using this URL basically we will access our image now in the next video as I told you guys we will save this URL alongside with the form information that is password and the name email etc the location phone number to the file store database so yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now